the eruptions of Mount Vesuvius, Mount Krakatoa, Mount Pelly, and Mount Tambora all have made their marks in the history of Earth. But just this year, a volcano was detected doing something that no other natural weather has been found doing before, breaking through into space. Earlier this year, in January of 2022, a massive volcano off the coast of the island Tongatapu erupted with enough force to send its shockwaves well into space. The volcano's name was Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai, and this massive underwater volcano erupted and blasted hundreds of tons of ash up into the stratosphere in the largest atmospheric explosion in recorded history. Even five months later, the afterglow of this eruption is still casting an eerie glow across the skies above Australia and New Zealand. The explosion was so powerful that the shock waves it generated traveled through more than 650 kilometers of our atmosphere and into the outermost region where space meets Earth, the ionosphere. It also generated a massive tsunami that slammed into multiple other nations, including Fiji, New Zealand, Japan, the US, Chile, and Peru. An eruption of this size has not happened in over 30 years since the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo that created plumes of gas and dust 40 kilometers high. How did scientists record and study this event? In order to study this huge event, the scientists worked with information from the Ionospheric Connection Explorer, or ICON, run by NASA. This instrument was originally built to study how weather from space interacts with the ionosphere, but now they are realizing they can also use it to study how events such as the Tonga volcano explosion can have effects on that region of space as well. The ionosphere is the region above the Earth where the cold vacuum of space and our atmosphere meet. Not only was this one of the first Earth events to have a measurable impact on the ionosphere, this event caused the most significant disturbances ICON has measured in its over two years in orbit. This volcanic explosion caused symptoms akin to a geomagnetic storm caused by violent activity from our sun generating solar winds that pummel the Earth. What were the immediate effects of the eruption? The shock waves from this eruption had so much energy that the winds they produced reached speeds of over 720 kilometers per hour that were detected by satellites nearly 200 kilometers above the Earth. The wind generated by Tonga was record-breaking, becoming some of the fastest wind ever recorded on our planet. Not only did these winds travel at extremely fast speeds, but they also traveled far further than any scientist had previously believed they could. The winds generated by this volcano traveled well past the official edge of space, which has challenged the long-held belief that natural events only have effects on the Earth and do not influence space beyond our atmosphere. The Electrojets Flip Throughout the ionosphere, there is an electric current that encircles the Earth around the equator called the equatorial electrojet. It typically flows eastward around the planet but was detected flowing westward for a short period of time following the eruption. In the days following the Hunga Tonga eruption, this electrojet went haywire, flipping directions and surging to energy levels five times its usual strength. In the past, scientists have seen the electrojet flip directions before as a result of geomagnetic storms, but this was the first time they witnessed the electrojet flipping directions and surging because of an event that happened on Earth's surface. Geomagnetic storms is a form of space weather caused by radiation and high-energy particles from the sun blasting into the Earth's magnetic field, causing havoc throughout the field and causing issues for the satellites and electrical systems surrounding the planet. These storms typically have some effect on electrical transformers on the ground and can cause the transmission of GPS and radio signals to be disrupted. Scientists are now trying to understand if events like this can cause similar issues when it affects the currents flowing far into the atmosphere. 
What other events can affect space from Earth? If it has taken science this long to discover that a volcano on Earth can have an impact on what happens in space, what other types of weather events could do the same? How many times in the past has a volcano disrupted the processes of the ionosphere? What kind of impacts did these events have in the past that we are unaware of? Remember that Earth is not the only planetary body that has volcanoes. Could the other four bodies in our solar system that have volcanoes, Earth, Io, Triton, Enceladus, also impact space around themselves? Are there any dangers for us? But are we in any danger here on Earth? Well, besides the normal threat of an erupting volcano spewing magma and ash into the air, are there possible side effects of these disruptions and influence on our upper atmosphere and beyond into space? Right now, researchers are actively trying to answer these questions in order to mitigate any possible negative effects. Scientists are already preparing for the jostling of the electrojet's possible effect on the atmospheric winds that could lead to disruptions in the communication between satellites and the Earth. This could cause issues with GPS, weather monitoring, and other sectors that rely on the information satellites provide. But beyond that, not much will be known about these effects until more research is done. What comes next? The excitement around studying weather and its extraterrestrial effects has exploded after this discovery. NASA was already working on their next generation of satellite designed to monitor the weather and electrical currents streaming through the ionosphere, and this only added to the idea surrounding what to include in its instrumentation. The Geospace Dynamics Constellation mission, referred to as GDC, is a group of new, small satellites that will work in conjunction with each other to track and study the ever-changing elements present in the upper atmosphere. Set to launch in late 2027 at the earliest, when the time finally comes, scientists will be able to look more closely at the environment of our upper atmosphere than ever before. What will they discover then? Thanks for joining us. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting us know of any events in space that you hope are studied more in the future. If you like this video, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time on Matter.